Hello YouTubers! I've got a very quick video because the timing is perfect. Someone had asked me, um, how do you, how do you pluck the little babies off of things or how do you gather the eggs off of wherever they are? Well, let me show you. Look at this. This is my hanging nectar and, you know, basically usually it has this in the middle. Okay, and after a few days of even eggs being plucked, or not plucked, but placed on, see the, the, um, the, the veterinary wrap? I love veterinary wrap. Anyway, we've got a lot going on here, as you can see, okay? So right there, you see the little tiny baby already that has formed right there? And then you've got eggs that are sitting on the wrap. So, how do you get it into a container? Because that's where all the magic happens in the very first stage. Now, this one I'm changing out a little bit today. It's basically a lot of little food, some powdered food, some moist food. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm all about keeping things super clean. Okay? Now... But what I want to show you is how they've already kind of developed in just a few days of sitting there um, on the wrap. Look at look at this little babies everywhere. So I'm going to show you what I do. The first thing I do, especially when I'm in the middle of changing something out, um, I've got a lot of little babies in this container already that are about, mm, I would say, six days old. Um, from eggs from the time I put the eggs in here maybe six days probably not even that much but you see how they've grown already look at that they've grown they're still really small but this is part of the process so I'm gonna set this off to the side okay and I'm just gonna focus on these guys that are hanging look at this guy oh, he's like help me see him by the way, it's um, thunderstorming, so my beautiful little angel here. Say hi. Say hi. Japanese Shiba Inu. Look at her. Oh, baby. She's 11. She's the love of my life. Anyway, so here we go. Let me show you. This is not rocket science, but you're going to feel like, I don't want to kill it. You're not going to kill it. Well, you know, anything's possible. I mean, I've killed a few in my my time, but I just very gently, and sometimes what I'll do, because they're kind of hanging on there, I will take my, uh, like, wet my finger, and I'll, it's kind of hard to do it when you're also holding a camera, but let me just show you. I just sort of go underneath it, you see? So it's not that hard. You just kind of navigate with these little guys. This one right here. There you go. Look how small. And then what do you do with it? I take a damp paper towel. Here's another one waiting. And I just start a pile. I roll them off my thumb very gently. Let's see. It takes a few minutes. Yeah. She says, yeah. All right. Anyway, you'll know when you... You just have to very gently, of course, I'm not succeeding right now. Anyway, you just very gently roll it off your finger onto the moistened paper towel. There he is. I know, sweetie. I know. It's thundering. Anyway, there it is right there. Wait a minute. Right there. Okay? So, basically what you want to do is just take it one at a time. Okay? And look at this one. This one's up here on the... He's like, help me. So, is it time consuming? Yeah, but if you're breeding for your own crew, which is what I do, I don't um, breed to sell or any of that. I, this is just for my own existence. Um, but this takes a few minutes, okay? And then I place them all on here, and then I change out the container, and then I take the other ones that are already getting bigger and everybody goes together and I put in fresh food 
And yeah, it takes several minutes, um, but it's worth it in the, in the long run. Anyway, look at that. That's a nice sight. Oh, also, I'm gonna do a separate video on what to do if you've left a little bit of the food in there and there's possibly a maggot in your food. Um, don't worry about it, okay? It happens. They, they form very quickly in moist food. So just know the difference between if you happen to get a naturally occurring, uh, I hate the word maggot, but a naturally occurring thing that can happen when you have a chunk of food inside a container, um, just make sure it's not a baby hornworm because sometimes they look similar. But if it doesn't have a hair on the top of its head, then it's something other than um, it's something other than a hornworm. Um, and that's that happens. I mean, anyone who has reptiles knows that on occasion you see some stuff and uh, it's not a big deal. So hope everyone is having a great day. I hope this video helps you. Um, just be gentle with them and use a moist paper towel when you're transferring. I just find it not saturated, but just a little bit moist so they have something to feel secure on. I don't ask me why, but I think they do like just sitting on a slightly moist paper towel. So anyway, have a blessed day, everyone. If you have any questions, just send them off to me and um, happy hornworming. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.